You might probably ask a question when we have used the letter involved in building up the simulation part. There, we did fold down the pressure of the liquid streams, leaving both the intermediate separator and high pressure separator. The stream leaving the intermediate separator had the pressure of 3450 kPa and it was lowered to 1725 kPa. And also, the stream leaving the high pressure separator had the pressure of 6900 kPa and it was decreased to 3450 kPa. Did you ask the reason for that? Only reason standing behind this is a need for recycling. See the mixers we have added in both stages. We have set up the mixer pressure assignments to equalize pressure, right? So there the mixtures have to accept the stream with the same pressure to do an operation in an appropriate way. So the stream leaving the intermediate separator will be set up to the pressure of mixer inlet, which was 1725 kPa by using lit down valve. The same thing has been applied to the second mixer and HP separator combination, where the pressure was lowered to the inlet pressure of the mixer too. Actually, a recycle operation is a mathematical unit operation, and it is installed as any other. It has an inlet or calculated stream, an outlet or assumed stream. Here, the recycle installs a theoretical blocks in the process stream. The feed into the block is termed the calculated recycle stream, and the product is the assumed stream. The following steps take place during the convergence process for this. Aspenhysis uses the conditions of the assumed stream, which was the outlet, and solves the flow sheet up to the calculated stream, which was inlet. Then, Hysis compares the values of the calculated stream to those in assumed stream. Based on the difference between the values, Aspen Hysis modifies the values in the calculated stream and passes the modified values to the assumed stream. The calculation process repeats until the values in the calculated stream match those in the assumed stream within the specified tolerances. We have really talked a lot. Let's do something. We can add the recycle blocks then, right? Say, so in order to do this, double click the recycle in the object palette. You will see the recycle block appears. Bring it near to the let down and keep its name as recycle1. Connect the inlet as LD1Out and the set outlet as recycle1Out. After adding the recycle block, Hysis automatically calculates and prepares the outlet stream for you by doing some iterations. Wanna have a detailed look into the recycle block? Let's see it. Come to the parameters tab. This part can also be called as tolerance or variables page because the maximum tolerances are given here. Indeed, Aspen Hysis allows you to set the convergence criteria or tolerance for each of the recycle variables. In addition, the direction of the transfer of information can be set to not transferred, thirds or backfoots. In general, you will want to leave the transfers as forwards. In this example, use the default settings. Then come to the numerical page of parameters tab. The numerical page contains the options for two types of the recycles, nested and simultaneous. The nested type of the recycle gets called whenever it's encountered during the calculations. Use this type if you have a single recycle or if you have multiple recycles which are not connected. Then the simultaneous one. All the recycles set as simultaneous will be called at the same time. Use this option if your flush sheet has multiple interconnected recycles. In this case, we'll use nested recycle. You can also see the number of iterations and its acceleration technique made by Hysis to calculate the needed properties for outlet of the recycle block. 
Later, the monitor tab displays convergence information as the calculations are performed. Any variable that changes between iterations is displayed in this table. In order to view the plots of variables as they change during the calculations of the recycle, you must select the variables to view on the setup page. In the worksheet tab, the inlet and outlet stream information are displayed as it's for other equipments. In this instance, inlet and outlet streams have the same values because the inlet stream was already calculated by Aspen Hysis. When the recycle was connected, the known inlet conditions were automatically passed to the outlet stream to serve as the starting gas. Yeah, again after talking a lot, we should add the second recycle block, second mixer and HP separator combination. Because we have all the data related to the inlet of the second recycle, the guessed and calculated values will be the same and easy for Hysis. Then the final step for the recycle installation will lead us to link the recycle outlets to the mixers. Say we have made everything okay to connect into the mixers and we can easily bring them to mix. Well, that was the end of recycling installation part. We have separately mentioned this process because its industrial utilization is more and growing. We can say an exact thing about recycle. This is a key factor for the most of the problems within any plant. Nice. After analyzing the results, you'll have ended up this week through the two-stage compression. Just get relaxed, keep it up, and work in the upcoming quizzes. See you in the next videos.